going everyone we are back with another ultimate team video today we are going to be doing a 600k pack opening with the all pro fantasy packs I'm trying to open for the new stefan Diggs card because i think he's a pretty solid wide receiver to try and pick up we also finally got most feared news i got the uh, loading screen up on madden right now so i'll give you guys a look at that if you have not seen it already but uh hopefully we'll see tyreek hill come our way maybe even Derek thomas since they have teased him or even Darrell Revis, you know, just any Chiefs, you know, we've kind of been starved for Chiefs. So I want to see that come our way. Hopefully, maybe even tomorrow we'll get a heavyweight guy since it does look like they're going on to the defense as well. So before we get into the pack opening, don't forget to sub to the channel, leave a like and hit the notification bell to be notified every single time I upload. We are just 48, no, 58 subs away. I can't do math. Sorry. We're at 442, so 58 subs away from 500. So if you haven't subbed to the channel already, drop a sub down below. Help me get to 500. It'd be greatly appreciated. And we'll just get into showing you guys the most feared loading screen and uh, hopping into the packs here. All right, guys, here is the most feared loading screen. If you haven't seen it already, you can see that there's like a crab as the first logo, maybe like a wishbone. Uh, I don't really know what to make of that second symbol. A uh, musical note, probably like... I. I see the one kind of in the middle left there as a bell, but I mean, maybe that's just Le'Veon Bell getting a card bias. I don't know. Um, then we got what probably is like a visor of some sort, maybe like a bow. I, I don't know. Um, no idea after the visor. To me, what almost looks like kind of like someone taking a camera snapshot and then a winky face. So I've heard that people have seen the beast mode logo tucked in here somewhere as well. I don't know if that's a thing. Um, I haven't really seen any other things that really lend themselves to seeing like any more like Easter eggs or anything in this. And who knows? Maybe there's absolutely nothing to be made of that. Uh, we'll find out. I just uh, can't wait till what Thursday night to probably get the the introductory stream for that. So hopefully we see a Tyreek. Let me know your predictions down below in the comments if you have any. Uh, but I'm definitely expecting to see a Tyreek Hill. So we uh, will go hop into the packs now. All right, so we have the 10 packs purchased. And uh, we'll just go see if we can't get us Stefan Diggs. I know this probably isn't the best like idea with uh, Most Feared coming Friday. But I'm more than likely going to be opening a, a, bundi a, bundi a bundle come Friday. As we get to nothing too interesting there in that first round. Oh, Team of the Week. Jamel Dean. John Lynch, Jerry Rice, Isaiah. I, I really thought for a second there we clutched it out right in the beginning. But, uh, you know, I, uh, I don't think I'm going to really have time to make a video on Wednesday. So I thought we do this pack opening, speculate a little bit. Adelius Thomas, I'm glad they put those in packs. It is good to see. It was so stupid that it wasn't. Speculate a little bit on the wonderful content more than likely coming well i shouldn't say more than likely coming friday now and uh just see who might be coming our way i do really hope to see Derek thomas as one of the masters i don't know if we'll get that but um seeing darrell Revis would be cool too but they've given a lot of cornerbacks lately i do think we're gonna probably be getting some sort of linebacker as the defensive hero because i can only assume they're gonna be going one offense one defense for this promo i'm hoping it's going to be like a two-week promo as well but given its closeness to halloween i don't know about that too much but um i i do think aaron donald will probably get a limited like maybe a 93 overall around there just because it seems like he always seems to get a card come halloween um derrick henry just got a card so i don't think we'll be seeing a derrick henry this year Maybe a Christian McCaffrey card. I do think Von Miller will be getting a card as well. Maybe a hero card just because he got hurt. That'd be a good, easy way to get him a, a fitting upgrade. Without him playing this season. I'm trying to think of like other guys. Robbie Anderson. I mean, even though he got one in Ultimate Kickoff, the way he's been playing, he deserves to get some sort of upgrade. He's been one of the best, best receivers in the league so far this year in Carolina. But uh, I'm just trying to think, like, who else? Justin Houston's a guy I hope to see get a card tomorrow. That would be pretty nice. One of the Chiefs D-linemen, D4, Justin Houston, any of those guys. Just one of them. Somebody show up on the heavyweight drop tomorrow. 
which if we do if we do get a chiefs player in the heavyweights drop i will add uh that into this video as well just because uh, i don't know yet i'm i'm preemptively recording this before the day living life hoping to get uh stephonian to do a gameplay with him after that first pack teasing us with it it's not looking too great though I know I could probably just go buy him. I bet he's dirt cheap. But he does have 90 in every route running, so he probably is holding up a little bit. D Ford. Getting a lot of former Chiefs D linemen living life out here. DJ Humphreys. Justin Jackson. Another team that would be, be Stefan. Aw, oh, Thielen. I didn't know those were still in packs after they came out. Uh, strange to see, but that's uh, about 20k, so I'll take it. Final two packs on this account before we switch to the other one. Just trying to like rack my brain. I think Dante Jackson, if they do scary fast, I'm trying to think of like scary strong guys. It's probably just going to be pick your offensive lineman for scary strong, to be honest. There probably won't be much rhyme or reason to it. Just they're linemen, so they get it. So linemen that haven't gotten upgrades. Maybe guys who've been playing pretty well on the offensive line. That, uh, maybe have gold cards instead of elite cards getting upgrades. I'm trying to think. Landon Collins might get one. I don't, uh... No, oh, he's already gotten a card, hasn't he? With that power-up. Yeah, I don't know. It's tough. I feel like there really aren't too many great options out there. I'm just drawing a blank on them. But we'll go switch accounts and get on to the next 10 packs. All right, we are on to group two, and I, I, I've been thinking as I was getting all these packs because I bought them all and stacked them up, thinking we might see some rookie premier upgrades as well for a couple of guys. I don't know if Chase Young will get one or uh, T.D. Lamb, of course, but um, like the other guys, like I know Clyde got a card in, um, what's it called, in the ultimate kickoff promo. And so did Chase. And I mean, maybe that will mean Chase will get another card. But I mean, like Okuda, I don't think has gotten any upgrades yet. So I think Okuda's due for a card. Um, Pat Queen's got his upgrades, so he's he's living life. Darren Waller power ups pretty clutch. But I think I think we'll see the uh, the rookie premier starting to get upgraded towards uh, that like 88 overall kind of range because that's where Pat Queen's at right now. So I think they're going to catch a couple of those guys up. I do, I do really think we're going to see some sort of Chiefs legend. If it is even just kind of like a cheeky Darrell Revis for Revis Island. I, I can't get over the feeling that we're going to see. Uh, we're going to see like four legends in most feared. Not counting like the weekend guys. I think we're going to see like four guys. I just feel like one of them has to be Darrell Revis or Derek Thomas. But maybe maybe I'm just thinking too much. Maybe they'll give... I'm trying to think of like another... Maybe like Charles Woodson could come to the game as well. Shaquille Griffin's a guy that I think might get like a scary fast card if they break it down like that as well. Maybe, maybe Charles Woodson will come into the game, which I could completely understand. Because he's... I mean, he's a scary dude. He's an insane cornerback. Champ Bailey as well. Champ could come. Champ's usually around Christmas, though, if he's not just a normal base legend when he comes around. Especially since he was one of the OG Ghosts of Madden. Get a NFL 100 card? Oh. No love. I don't know. I mean, I'm just... I, I do think we'll maybe see, like, LaDainian Tomlinson or, um... Oh. Uh, Philip Dorsett, maybe? Dorsett's more, like... Christmas and Thanksgiving in past years too, so I don't know. Tough. I'm like trying to rack my brain. I know Manning came out last year for uh for uh, oh god. Why can't I? I'm like drawing a huge blanks for most feared. He came out last year for most feared. I'm trying and Ray Lewis. Ray Lewis might be coming too since they've already shown us that Ed Reed and Ray Lewis are in the game. And they have the rights to them with the uh, pre-order pack. So we might getting might be getting another Ray Lewis on defense as well. Which uh, I don't think anyone would really complain about. But then again, linebackers kind of suck. 
this year. It's kind of pointless. So, I don't know. It's weird. It's kind of disappointing we've had to wait this long for most feared. It's weird that they uh, decided to make it more than likely like a one-week promo this year. But I think they've been kind of phoning it in since uh, March. Just looking for a reason to not really get anything done. We'll see. I, I really do. I just, I want to see some Chiefs. It's been dry. I mean, closest thing we've gotten to a new player is Lev Bell signing to the Chiefs. And that's tough. Hey, I skipped the animation, but that's a great poll. Christian Kirksey? All pro fantasy pack. Final one. The final poll for Stefan Diggs. I don't think we're going to get it, given that we just got that Rob Woods, but... We'll see, we'll see, we'll see. No. Oh. Ain't happening. Oh, all golds to end it. All 76s as well. Devin Bush is the guy that probably will get a card too, just given his injury. I would hope they give him a card. It kills me too, because they said something about uh, somebody like getting discluded from a thing, because they, uh, they already had him keyed up for another promo, and I forget who it was. It was like fantasy two weeks ago. Somebody, somebody wasn't in, and uh, I just don't remember who it was. It's driving me nuts. I don't get it. But that's gonna do it for the pack opening. Unfortunately, we didn't get anything too crazy. Please let me know down below who you think's gonna be most feared. And uh, with that being said, that's the video. I will see you guys in the next one. Saying who that over there looking up.